Hey everybody, it's Brad back with a new video on Tuesday, but this week it's not a 10 minute Tuesday because over the weekend you guys pushed me over 200 subscribers and I honestly do really appreciate it. I didn't think there would be hardly any real traction on this channel. I didn't really expect many people to be interested in the music that I was putting out. So the fact that there are now 200 plus of you that have taken time out of your lives to at least click a button for me that's pretty amazing. So, sincerely, thank you. Now, it's not a 10 minute Tuesday, but I can't leave you high and dry, so I wanted to show you guys a little technique that I've been using. I used it back on the Freebird Jam in January and yesterday's Jurassic Park theme jam. Uh, it's what I've been doing to kind of overcome the 12 second drum machine sampler time limit on the OP1. It's pretty simple, just a little tedious, so let me just show you what I do to do that. All right, so here we are in the OP1. Let's go into the drum engine here. I already pulled these samples in since I made this song a few days ago, but here is what we have. You get the idea. Um, so what I do is I turn the sample into a sequence with the endless sequencer. I uh, usually set up a 16 or 32 or whatever, however, however many notes I need. And what this does is it helps me kind of visualize where my sample cuts off due to the OP1's maximum uh, sample time record limit. So since I've got this sequence already set up and I've got the tempo already uh, perfected, let's go through and record it and then we'll be able to see where we need to fix this sample. So you can kind of hear that it's basically that last bar that we're missing. Now, since I've put everything into a sequence, um, I don't like to just go right from that very last bar because that doesn't give me a whole lot of wiggle room. So I choose a point kind of in the middle of this whole uh, sample. Then I can uh, go through and record another chunk from my source, just starting at a slightly later point. And then I can kind of go through and paste everything in. So this is the second chunk of that sample. Let me just turn off the effects. I did the same thing with the sequencer, uh, put it into a 32 bar setup, although you don't need the full 32 now that we're just kind of doing half, um, but still it's just set up and it's easy to go that way. This is where the tricky part came in, is you have to kind of find the point in the new sample that you can connect to the old sample. Now, if you hold shift, and you adjust your uh, knobs here, that will give you fine adjustment of your sample. Um, and that comes in really handy. And then you've got to go through in your tape and find a point that you want to cut and paste the new chunk into. So uh, you could go with that very last bar if you wanted to, but like I said, it doesn't give you a whole lot of wiggle room. So I chose a point kind of directly in the middle of it. Right there. With the shift and arrows, it kind of gives you a snap and a grid. So that's perfect here, because we can kind of hear, we need to go into the new sample and find that kind of dong. So that gives you kind of a good starting point. And I already found that here in the loop. Um, so once you find those two, the matches, all you have to do is go through and cut on your tape. Find where the, the loop starts again, right there. Then go through and lift that part and record the new sample. So now, if you play it back, And there you go. 
That's how you kind of work around the OP1's maximum sample time limit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you did find it helpful, let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think. Maybe I'm doing this in a really stupid way and there's an easier way to do this. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you liked the video, click that like button down below. And if you want to join the 200 plus already cool kids on the school bus and sit with them, click that subscribe button. And until tomorrow's jam, I will see you guys. Well, I'll just see you in tomorrow's jam. So thanks for watching and uh, bye.